What's going on guys? Awesome Nerd Show here back with more Marvel Legends. This time we have the Spider-Man Far From Home set with the Molten Man Build-A-Figure. So first up here we've got the Spider-Man from the movie stuff in the blackish color and red suit. Then we've got Mysterio and Stealth Suit Spider-Man. And then we've got like comic book related characters. We've got Hydra-Man and Doppelganger. And then the Julie Carpenter Spider-Woman and Scorpion here. So again we've got all the Molten Man pieces as you can see there and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and open each figure, take a look at them, and of course build molten man at the end there and take a look at him as well so let's go ahead and get into it so first up here is spider-man so we have peter parker here in his new suit as we see in the spider-man far from home trailer so as you're seeing this we will have seen the movie i think the day before this video comes out so this will be coming out the next day but it's pretty cool overall I mean, but this is his new suit again in here it looks all black in uh the red color as usual but it kind of looks blue and stuff in pictures and everything instead of the black but it's still pretty cool looking overall it's kind of based on his superior suit but it still looks pretty cool i like the the whole black and red mixed together and everything so up here at the top we have his face which is the normal spider-man style design with the white eyes and the black all around it and then the spider webbing design all through his body the paint is kind of mixed up and switched so like this is a bright and flat red then in his chest it's kind of shiny and darker red then go down we have the spider on his chest there as you can see and of course another one there on his back as well and then he's got the red down to his waist and then black all the way down except to his boots there and he's got red on the fingers and the inside of his hands so and i don't know if i'll be able to get it to show on camera here yeah, there you can kind of see there on his arm the detail or the design into it i like that detail that they put in but it feels though like completely flat so usually if they have that it's like a raised texture or something you can actually feel it but it's just completely flat so i thought it was kind of weird at first but then i noticed when looking closer you can see the details they put in it to make it look like these spider-man suits from the movie and everything but unfortunately it doesn't have that texture and stuff so they kind of skimped down on that but for movements we have of course the head can twist all the way around we have the butterfly joint as all spider-man and should have we have the butterfly joint there and of course the normal shoulder joint that can rotate around and move up and down the bicep twist the double elbow joint there and the wrist that can flex back and forth and twist around the ab crunch there as you can see the waist twist the legs that can come out to there again a little bit like 90 degrees or maybe a little bit higher and then back you know barely at all because of his butt joint the leg can twist oh and out to the side as well can move pretty good pretty good movements of course for spider-man he has the thigh twist there double knee joint and then the foot that can flex and twist side to side as usual. As this is Spider-Man, so for his power stuff, he has the spider sense. He can wall crawl, web shooters, and he has healing factor, and then superhuman strength, speed, agility, reflexes, and stamina. For accessories for this figure, he's got two hands. So we have another fist hand there that's kind of like gripping, and then another web slinging hand. And that's going to be it for the Spider-Man. Next up here, we have Mysterio, which is maybe going to be the villain in the movie. But I like this a lot because I love Spider-Man's villains, and Mysterio is one that I really enjoy. And I think they really did, did a really good job of converting his costume from comics into the movie. It looks almost the same, just color differences. So this is Quentin Beck, which is going to be played by Jake Gyllenhaal, which is kind of surprising we didn't get a head to put on, a Jake Gyllenhaal head to put on here and everything. But I still think other than that, it looks pretty cool and stuff. So Mysterio is a special effects artist, and he's an actor and an engineer. So he has all these powers that are just special effects that he does that he's learned from creating his own illusions. But for movements here, so we have his head here, which of course the big giant ball that we'll hear about in a second there and then of course the arms that can move all the way around no butterfly joint on this figure at all the bicep twist double elbow joint there the hands that can move around the ab crunch kind of more of the female style ab crunch there under his chest the legs that can move out and thigh twist double knee joint and the foot that can flex move around for his outfit design i like it the gold with the dark green but again i still think it translates really well you can see with the green it's got like this scaling design stuff so it looks very similar to what steer really has i like the big giant gauntlet parts here on his arms that are big like square designs and stuff again straight from the comics and then the center gold chest piece here with the belt and I like this purple collar underneath and of course the cape on the back the purple cape with the green design as well going into it looks very cool and then the gold band on his legs and his gold boots there as well so for Mysterio he has his one-way helmet that he can, so you can see out but not in he uses projectors and everything again to make his illusions and then his gloves and boots release gases into the air again to be able to form up with his illusions and to hypnotize people. And for accessories for this figure, we've got two fist hands along with Molten 
man's left leg. So that's going to be it for Mysterio. Next up, we have the Stealth Suit Spider-Man. So this is just going to be normal Spider-Man. Nothing too special about it. But he's in a Stealth Suit so he can hide because he's going on the trip in Europe and everything. And so they have to hide that he's Spider-Man. But S.H.I.E.L.D. and Nick Fury, as we see in the trailers, still need his help as Spider-Man. So they hide him in this suit so he's not identified as Spider-Man, you know, being out of the country and everything. So in this suit, it's just a completely all blacked out suit with some armor. So on his head up here, we have a mask that looks kind of like a ski mask. He has some goggles on, as you can see there. Then go down, we've got what looks to be like a bulletproof style vest and looks like SWAT armor almost. So he's just completely armored out all the way down. He's got some fingerless gloves on there. A belt on with a bunch of pockets and stuff for accessories. And then just the black legs all the way down into the boots. For movements, he has all the same movements as the last Spider-Man. So he still has the butterfly joint in there. And then all the other joints that are the exact same as well as the other ones. So we won't have to look at all of those. For accessories, he comes with two web slinging hands and then the face with the goggles up so you can see Peter Parker's actual eyes underneath there as well but unfortunately it doesn't like fold back down or anything of course we have the mask version already but I think it'd be cool if you could open and close these as well then we get the left hand of Molten Man and that's going to be it for the Stealth Suit Spider-Man next up here we have Hydro Man which looks pretty cool I like this design a lot but this is Morse Bench and he's a character that worked on a cargo ship and got his powers with in an attack with Spider-Man got knocked over into the ocean while there was a scientist is conducting an experiment and the stuff affected him and transformed his body into water so he can now transform his entire body into water all the way up except for a little molecule that contains his brain so he can pretty much turn completely into liquid but this looks pretty cool overall i like the water effects on this so as you can see we have just a normal looking guy here so we've got his face a very evil looking face though there with the hair you know that comes off to the side and everything and then he's just in an all black t-shirt and blue pants and underneath these you can take them off he's just got some brown boots there on as well but then it has these accessories of the water that you can attach on to make his feet water and then his arms are completely water so you can't really take them off or put normal arms or anything on it so we're just kind of stuck with that but we can go ahead and look at his movements though so of course his head can twist around and move and all sorts of normal stuff the ab crunch the arms can twist around but then we go into the water that kind of adds the difference and stuff so you can see his el what would be his elbow joint is very limited in movement it does have a little bit of range of movement there but can twist around and stuff so not a whole lot can go on there he has the big giant hand that can kind Kind of twist around just a little bit it's kind of limited though and does have a little bit of flex pretty much the exact same off for the other side as well just a fist hand instead waist twist the legs can obviously move around twist at the thigh double knees and then the foot will move the same but again it has these water accessories that just go on to the legs they kind of attach on so you can see underneath there so you can see both of his feet and it just makes him look like he's completely water so that's pretty much all his powers is is that he can transform his body into water and because of this we don't get any other accessories our accessories are the water here for his feet everything in his hands are just permanently like that but he does come with the head of molten man and that's going to be it for hydra man next up here we have doppelganger spider-man which is an evil version of spider-man that was created by the villain magus during the infinity war storyline in the comics so as you can see pretty much looks exactly like the six armed spider-man or the spider-man in his normal suit with the six arms he obviously has a different looking face here with more evil eyes so it's got more venom styled eyes to me and they look buggy and stuff with the design and of course the big giant map here with the teeth all over it and stuff but other than that he's in just like i said the normal spider-man costume it's the darker blue and red color of course the spider there on the chest and on the back he's got these six arms and he only has three fingers on each arm so as you can see he's got these six arms there again no ab crunch or anything along with these or waist twist because they had to get the arms all fit in there of course they all twist around though and everything there and then, then down to his feet he's got the three toes as well so again no normal human style feet he's got these big three talons and of course the movements i said so of course the head as usual but then he's got all the arms here so again the arms are just gonna be normal no butterfly joints or anything on this but he's got the shoulder joints the bicep twist the double elbow joint and then the hand that can twist around and move and they're all pretty like movable and stuff they're all pretty loose and everything so that's pretty cool so it's easy to adjust and you can see you have open fingers and fist as well so they kind of three and three split there and we've got the legs of course can move out and he's got the thigh twist the double knee joint and then the twist there at the shin and then the foot that can twist around and side to side to adjust for his powers, he's got all the same powers as Spider-Man, just maybe a little bit extra strength, agility, reflexes, and speed. And then his web, sh instead of just normal webbing, he has razor sharp webbing that can pierce people. Because of the way he looks, he doesn't come with any other accessories or anything, but he does come with the right arm of Molten Man. And that's going to be it for Doppelganger. Next up, we have Spider-Woman, which is the Julia Carpenter version. So in this, Julia was injected with a combination of spider venom and plant extract that gave her the powers pretty much of spider-man here
here obviously with a little bit of different powers going on but as you see we have spider woman here which i like this look and design spider woman well, spider woman is always an interesting character design stuff i like the classic red and yellow character version and then this version as well with the black and the white so as you can see, you see her hair here which is long and like a red and blonde mixture i really like again the hair design stuff on marvel legends the way they make it flow and everything her face there where you can see she's got her mouth exposed and she's got some pink lipstick on then a black suit with the white details coming off of her so she's got the white spider in her chest looks very similar to venom the white arms and the white legs from pretty much her thigh down for a moment so her head can twist around of course some limitation by her hair there shoulders can twist around and come out to the side like that she has the single elbow joint and then the hand that can flex around the moment she's got the open hands as you can see the ab crunch and twist right under her chest there and then the legs can obviously come out to the side and back a little bit off to the side there thigh twist double knee joint and then the foot can flex and twist side to side so again she has a lot of the same powers of spider-man with superhuman strength speed agility reflexes but she can do a what's called a psi web which is a web made of psionic energy that she can shoot out and form and everything and then she's also a fighter for accessories she comes with a web hand shooting that psionic web there and then she comes with a big main body here of molten man so that's going to be it for the julia carpenter spider woman and next up is scorpion which again like mysterio is another villain that i really enjoy and like so it's cool that we have him here but this is matt gargan who underwent an experiment with a scientist that was experimenting with people to give them animal traits so he underwent with a scorpion so that's how he got the powers here and so he has all the characteristics and abilities of a scorpion so as we can see from his suit he's in an all green outfit here that's got like some scaling designs or segmentation as you can see with the design all the way through this version has the fully masked head here it's got like what looked to be like little scorpion claws coming off the side of it around his eyes and stuff there and you can see his evil eyes and snarling face there then he's got the metallic green down and then a dark metallic green on the arms and his underwear and boots there and then of course the big giant tail coming off of his back as you can see it's got this big giant like backpack design and the big giant tail that comes around which is a bendy and flexible tail and of course has the big giant stinger here on the end of it that you can obviously move around and sting so it's not very easy to get him to stand up obviously he has the tail down here at the back that helps keep him up and stuff but i was trying to get the tail to reposition more and then it's kind of twisted at the side and i want it to be more straight on and everything so i had to kind of bend it and get it to flex a little bit which is you can see it's not very much so it doesn't really hold its shape too well and everything but for movements are going to be pretty much the same as many of the other characters of the head of course the arms he does have the twists right under his waist there as you can see there so kind of like the female version but also has the waist twist as well going in there so he's got some additional little movements going on there and then it's just trying to play around and mess with this tail to be able to get it into a good looking position but also get it to hold him up as well so he can stand so as he's injected with the scorpion stuff he gets superhuman strength of speed agility reflexes he can wall crawl and he has this scorpion suit with the giant electro mechanical tail so very cool looking design overall he does come with the right leg of molten man there as well and that's gonna be it for scorpion we now have all the pieces here for molten man so let's put them together so here's molten man all together so it's pretty cool overall like not the best build a figure ever but i th think the way it's designed stuff is pretty neat and interesting and everything so molten man here is actually mark raxon again and we don't know what it's gonna turn out in the movie and everything but at least by comics it's, that's who the guy that becomes molten man is and he is a scientist that ends up getting covered in a liquid metallic alloy that they found on a meteor that crashed to earth and so is experimenting with and got covered in it and turned him into molten man here. so as you can see it's just a big giant hulking beast thing that's all metallic so it's got the gold on the outside with some like orangish colors painted in and underneath to be like a more like a lava design and stuff and so you can see he's like smaller on one side and big giant and weird on the other side and he's got some pieces sticking down so like some metal girder sticking off this so his arm there and then out of the shoulder up top which does actually come out for design though it's pretty cool so here's his face so again he can't move too much because of the way it's designed but there's a look at the creepy looking face of him there and then the arms can move around a bit so he's got the arms that can twist all the way around there as you can see then he's got a bicep twist on this side a single elbow joint there and of course the hand that can move and everything on the other side his arm has a little bit more limitation stuff so he does have a bicep twist that can twist all the way around the elbow joint there as well as you can see that has this giant piece sticking off the back of it so you have kind of limitations of how you and where you can position his arm and everything you have to kind of get it all adjusted and then he's got the big giant hand here that's flat 
so it can actually hold him up so you put it on the ground to help hold his body up and everything then we go into what would be like his ab crunch that can he can twist around a little and then crunch just a very little bit but not a whole lot of movement it does have a waist twist there as well then the legs can move around on the joint here single knee joint there and then the foot can flex and then same on the other side but obviously much fatter it can twist there at the thigh those hip can move around single knee joint and then the foot can flex so with the way he's designed how he's bigger on one side than the other and he kind of leans to the side that's what the his whole hand being down there's for so he's kind of hunched over so he's not as tall as he could be but we can bring in the spider-man here and put him next to it, so you can see the size comparison and everything to him there and with some of his powers so he has superhuman strength and durability obviously since he's molten but he also has powers of energy manipulation and incineration since he is really hot metal and everything so that's it for molten man and that's it for this marvel legend set for the spider-man far from home of course featuring this build of figure of molten man here so i'm excited to see the movie i've heard really good reviews about and stuff and i'm excited to see of course but like i said by the time you see this i will have already seen it the day before so i'm hoping really good things from it and really get to see what the whole molten man and hydra man and stuff from the trailer we see is all about so that's it for this i hope you enjoyed if you did let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite character out of the set do you enjoy this build a figure in general leave a thumbs up and of course subscribe to the channel to see more marvel legends videos thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you next time